Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of the Motorcycle Podcast. In this episode, we discuss the helmet standards, safety and procedures required to fulfill those standards. Now, related authorities in many countries have adopted or defined a set of rules. These are made to make sure your head is protected at all times with a high quality product. Now, let's start by understanding what standards we follow in our country. The governing body which controls the product standards in India is the Bureau of Indian Standards. It has defined the IS 4151 standard to bolster the quality of a helmet. It is a safety rating given to a helmet after the product has gone through a rigorous set of test procedures. After the test procedures, if the helmet passes the test, it is given an IS mark which confirms that the helmet is safe to use. Now, like us, many countries have adopted different set of standards issued by their respective governing authorities. For example, in US and Canada, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or the NHTSA has defined the DOT FMV SS218 standards which all manufacturers need to clear in order to sell the helmets in US and Canada. Similarly, another form of helmet standards used around the world are known as NEL standards. In Europe, the European Commission adopts ECE 22.05 standards to check the safety of a helmet. Now let's talk about the general quality test procedures included in most standards. The testing procedure of these standards is way more complicated and defined for each separate standard. Quality test procedure defined for DOT, SNELL, ECE and IS standards may vary as per the authorities in the respective countries. The quality test procedure mentioned by us is standard in nature and these procedures are applied in most safety standards. Let's begin the set of quality test procedures. The first test is the helmet head coverage test. Now the head coverage protects the head in case of a crash. It is important for a helmet to cover the entire area of the head. The next test is called the effective hearing and ventilation test. Now during the day, the inside of a helmet becomes extremely hot, which makes the riders sweat and suffocate inside the helmet. In this scenario, appropriate level of ventilation inside the helmet is important or required to make sure the rider feels fresh and less suffocated during a long ride. The next test is the interior surface shell test. The interior shell of a helmet comes in direct contact of the rider's skull. Therefore, it is important that the interior surface of the helmet should be smooth, light, comfortable and strong for better comfort and safety. The next test is the chin strap test. A chin strap needs to be of a premium quality as it should not give away in case of a collision. Therefore, this is one of the most important tests done to a helmet. The next test we're going to talk about is the field of vision test. The vision provided by the helmet should be excellent as you need to avoid mishaps in case of a collision. Field of vision test needs to be absolutely correct and accurate for the safety of a rider. The next test is called the material durability test. I hold this test is to measure the quality of the material used to build a helmet. A helmet made out of high quality durable material will make sure that the rider's head is safe during a crash. The next test is called the visor specs test. The visor's removability, devices lifting the visor are checked. A visor should be strong as well as easily detachable in case of an easy situation. Now, these tests are performed to make your helmet safe in case you end up in a collision. Lately though, there is a new revolution in town in terms of helmet standards known as the FIM standards which is currently in use in FIM sanctioned events such as MotoGP, Moto2 and Moto3 competitions. Now, these standards are more rigorous in terms of testing as procedures implemented by FIM are the same ones used for testing helmets in professional racing. Initially, when these standards were introduced by the FIM, there were a hesitancy accepting these standards as most helmets at that point of time had failed the standards test. 
but recently in the wake of the increase in the number of road accidents most companies have realized that safety will be the key priority as it will make their product stand out in terms of quality and sales in the future now whether you call it a financial or social decision a number of helmet manufacturers have started the approval process for an FIM test in fact a lot of companies have also complied to the testing guidelines of the FIM the FIM standards looks to be the norm of the future it seems to be the next evolution in helmet standards looking at the rider safety and the recent increase in the number of looking at the rider safety and the recent increase in the number of road accidents in our opinion these are the standards we need to adopt as soon as possible now with this we end our small content piece on helmet standards the idea behind the podcast was to make you aware of the current helmet standards and where we are headed in the future in terms of helmet safety now whenever you buy a helmet look for the standard mark in the helmet and we recommend do not buy a copied or a fake helmet as it can only be detrimental to your safety when you ride now if you want to hear the longer version of the podcast you can check out our audio version of the podcast in any audio app that you follow whether it be spotify apple podcast google podcast jio savan or wherever you listen to your podcast now with this we end this episode of this podcast hope you like the episode you can like comment and subscribe to our channel you can follow us on social media and you can keep watching and supporting our content now with this run it's time for us to go see you in the next episode till then it's goodbye and good day from us